Here we go. So what I have is 5 minus 5 times 7m plus 8 is less than negative 35 minus 6m. So when solving and graphing an inequality, the main important thing that we're going to want to do is treat this just like an equation and solve. But remember, if we ever we divide or multiply by a negative number, we have to make sure we flip the sign. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our variables to the same side, right? We have a variable on the left side and the right side. But before they we got, we have to simplify. So therefore, I'm going to apply distributive property. Don't know anything over here. So I have 5 minus 35m minus 40 is less than a negative 35 minus 6m. Then I can decide which side I want to get my variables to. And you know, it's kind of either way what you really want to choose. So um, I always like making my variable. I, let's, let's solve it for the left because I think it will make a little bit more sense. So I'll add a 6m. All right, so then I can add the 6m, and then I can, um, I can combine these two terms. So 5 minus 40 is now going to be a negative 35m, or negative 35. So therefore, I have negative 29m uh, minus 35 is less than negative 35. Then, now to get my m by itself, I need to add 35. Therefore, I get negative 29m is less than 0. Now, since I'm dividing by a negative number, I now have to flip my sign. So the inequality I have to solve for is m is less than 0. And just think about that out loud. What are all the values that are less than 0? And if you look at a number line, if you have here 0, you have numbers to the right which are positive. And to the left, you have negative numbers. So just even thinking out loud, you don't even have to do test points of this. And you can say, oh, to the left are obviously less than 0. To the right are greater than 0. So I start at 0, and I make a big open circle. And now I need to determine, is this going to be filled in or not? Because remember, this just says less than. So is 0 less than 0? No, 0 is equal to 0, right? So therefore, we're going to leave it open because 0 is not a part of my solution. However, all the points to the left are going to be, oh, I didn't even flip my sign. I told you to, but I forgot to do it. So it actually says m is greater than 0, right? Well, anyways, it's still going to be an open circle. But that means we need to graph now to all the points that are greater than. Because remember, you've got to flip the sign whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number. So therefore, that's our graph. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph an inequality. Thanks.